Coming in at number six, I have Thomas G. Doty. Believe it or not, there was once a time when airline passengers could purchase life insurance policies for themselves at the airport before they boarded their flight. Unfortunately, this paved the way for at least one tragic suicide bombing. On the evening of May 22, 1962, Continental Airlines Flight 11 departed from O'Hare Airport in Chicago on what was supposed to be a routine flight to Kansas City, Missouri. In the middle of the flight, the plane was flying near the town of Unionville when an explosion suddenly occurred. This caused the tail to break away from the fuselage, and Flight 11 wound up crashing into a field. While there was initially one survivor, all 45 people aboard the plane ultimately died in the crash. An investigation determined that six sticks of dynamite had been assembled into a bomb, which had been placed into a towel bin in the rear lavatory. One of the passengers, Thomas G. Doty, was named as the likely perpetrator once it was discovered that he had purchased a life insurance policy right before the flight, which paid out $250,000 for an accidental death. His pregnant wife and five-year-old daughter were to be the beneficiaries. Doty had been suffering numerous financial problems and was due in court to face an armed robbery charge three days after the crash. He decided to commit insurance fraud by taking his own life in an attempt to leave behind a substantial payout for his family. How noble of him. Unfortunately, Doty also wound up taking 44 other innocent lives in the process.